Happy Friday traders. This is Fawad Rosakzada, Market Analyst for City Index. Today is the 22nd of September 2023. I'm here to give you a quick market update. So it's been quite a week for the markets with the dollar extending its gains for the 10th consecutive time now against a basket of foreign currencies. As you can see, the euro dollar is breaking down, testing key support here at around 106.35, which was the low back in May, I believe. Um, so a close below that level today or in the coming days uh, would uh, be bearish as it would open the uh, wave for a potential drop towards 105. That could be the next downside target. Um, and it's all to do with the Fed being more hawkish uh, than expected this week. They signaled that there may be one more interest rate increase to come this year. And they scaled back expectations for um, rate cuts uh, in 2024. In terms of the pound against the dollar, well, uh, the pound uh, today uh, saw further bad news from the UK in terms of the PMI data. Um, last week, remember, we saw a negative GDP print and the Bank of England uh, decided uh, to not hike interest rates against expectations for a 25 basis point hike. That caused the pound to decline below 123.08, which was the May low. Uh, we've broken that level now, so the part of least resistance is clearly to the downside. And from here, I wouldn't rule out the possibility for a drop towards 120. Um, moving on to the uh, indices, well, the major indices uh, have broken down because of the rising bond yields uh, in the US. The NASDAQ 100 technology heavy index has uh, fallen quite sharply this week. Um, it's really broken the bearish uh, bullish trend line. So uh, clearly, there's been some bearish price action of late. If this area now breaks, then that could pave the way for a sharper decline as more and more bulls rush for the exits. Likewise, the German DAX index is looking quite weak, um, testing a key support level at around 15,500. Here, the index had previously bounced from on a number of occasions. A break below that could be quite bearish as it will lead to further downside momentum. Now, for more analysis, make sure to check out the news and analysis section at City Index dot com.